Now, the TriCaster comes with a variety of what are called live editable title templates. And these are pre-made, professional, great looking graphics that you can modify on the fly so you can easily get professional looking graphics even if you don't know how to create those graphics or own any professional graphics of your own. If you go to the Titles tab, when you click on the Add button, you get the ability to add titles. And these are Newtek's live editable title templates. Now the system comes with a huge variety of these built right in. And let's take a look at how these title templates work. Got one right down here. So every time you mouse over any of the title templates, you'll see a little gear appear in the lower right hand corner. And that's how you can configure what's happening inside of that title template. We click on that gear and it's going to open up the edit panel for that specific title template. Now, even though you're still live, you have the ability to make some changes here. You can click and type. Let's go ahead and type in my name. Now, when you have text selected, all of the options up here are available. So you do have the ability to interactively size that text. You can left click and drag on that sizing control right here. You do have a pull down, which will show you every font that's loaded into the system. If you have a specific font that you have to use, maybe you work at a company or TV station that uses a specific font, it needs to be a true type font that can be loaded into Windows and you can exit out to Windows. Another one of the reasons you might want to exit out to Windows is to load a font into Windows. Then when you come back into the TriCaster, that font will be available from this pull down list. So you can choose the font that you want to use, whatever that may be. You do have the ability to stylize that font. You can bold, italic, or underline it. And of course, you can always reset back to defaults. Now, if there's a picture, you can click on the picture. And you do have the ability to replace that picture. I've got a picture of me right here. Now, if you right click on that image, you've got a few options here. You have the ability to stretch the image to fit the frame. You have the ability just to fit the image to the frame. Notice it cut a little bit of the top of my head off as opposed to seeing the entire image when we stretch it. You also have the ability to show the entire image. Now this is a portrait style image, so it just kind of crops it in a little bit. But if you were using an actual landscape image, you can see that it letterboxes the image. It shows you the entire 16 by 9 image, but it's letterboxing it for you so that you can see the entire thing. Again, you might want to think about what you're going to be putting into this image and crop your image appropriately so you get the best possible look. And remember, all of those modifications to those titles can be done while you're live, so you never miss the opportunity for a graphic or an overlay. You can make titles for people that showed up that you didn't know were going to be there. You can even start creating a title for somebody that you forgot to create a title for as they're walking to the podium literally have that title ready to go by the time they get there. It's a very powerful graphic system built into the TriCaster. Now, it comes with a huge variety of these title templates, and you also have the ability to create your own title templates. TriCaster comes with a full version of live text, and this is the character generator. It's built into the TriCaster, but the version that's built into the TriCaster can only be run outside of the live production environment. So you would have to do all of your creation either before the show or after the show to be used in post. Now, you do have the ability to purchase live text as a standalone application that can run on an external PC. And the output of that live text can be brought in. Right here, this is the interface of live text which is being run on an external PC. And in the other network input, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab that output. So this is the output from this version of live text. Let's go ahead and put some video on our output now. And I can set this up so that my overlay is using this output from that external uh, version of live text. You can see now that we can bring that up. That's coming from the external laptop. So we're bringing in the output of live text into one of our network inputs and then using that network input in one of our downstream keyers to create the overlay.